When the weeks into Israel's offensive against Hamas militants here on the Gaza Strip, Gazans are very war weary. They're tired. They are just hoping and praying that this conflict will come to an end very quickly. One particular group of folks you rarely hear about in the mainstream media are the Christians of Gaza. Yes, there are Christians here and uh, they represent a very tiny and I mean a very tiny percentage of the overall population. And during this offensive, they have suffered their first fatality. This is George Thomas in Gaza, where Hamas's military chief says his fighters are eager for death and vowed to keep fighting until the seven-year blockade of the Strip was lifted. This as Israel's sea, land and air offensive continues to strike at key Hamas control centers, including a hit on Gaza's only power plant, leaving most of the city without electricity. Meanwhile, in some of the hardest hit areas of the city, I can still smell her. This is her blood so close. This is a piece of her burnt hair. Gazans are struggling to cope with the devastation. Three days after an Israeli airstrike killed his 60-year-old mother and destroyed their home, Antoine Ayad is back home to what's left of it, searching through rubble, trying to salvage what he can. On Sunday, my mother became the first Christian killed in the Gaza war. Ayat says his mother was on her way to church carrying this cross in her hand when a missile struck their house. The wall collapsed on her body right over there and severed her legs. In this corner, my brother was severely injured and my father was on the roof, but thank God he survived. Antoine told CBN News he is not quite sure why the Israelis targeted his home, but the suspicions are that there was a senior Hamas leader in the neighborhood. Antoine wouldn't confirm nor deny this possibility on camera, but off camera, he told CBN News that he's concerned about the direction of his tiny city on the Mediterranean that once was home to a thriving Christian community. Now less than 2,000 Christians live on the Strip. The majority are Sunni Muslim. For now, though, the skies over Gaza City are once again filled with smoke as Israel intensifies its offensive here in the Palestinian territory. George Thomas, CBN News, Gaza.